Hi, I'm in Las Cruces, New Mexico, where we're holding for the third year the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge, where a group of entrepreneurial companies have registered to compete and build and demonstrate a vehicle capable of flying up 50 meters, translating 100 meters, landing, refueling, and doing it again. We have two teams. Armadillo, run by John Carmack, has been here twice before and has come so close to winning. They're going for both level one and level two, which would require landing on the moon like this with craters and everything. And then true zero, which is going for level one. I'm hoping that we're going to write some checks. NASA's put up the $2 million. Northrop Grumman has titled it. The XPRIZE Foundation is running it. Now what this means at the end is that we're going to have a new generation of entrepreneurial rocket scientists able to build lunar landers that will carry you and me and future astronauts to the moon and back. I'm actually strangely calm. Uh, I expected to be very nervous, but frankly, I'm really not. Uh, I'm just kind of focused on what we need to do, and we're going to get out there and try to do it. Three, one, go! All right, you got it. Translation, and we have failure of the... Safety, safety, safety. Declaring a level three emergency. Level three emergency has been declared. Vehicle has fallen out of the sky. You can see the hydrogen peroxide vent. Vehicle has crashed.
I would I would say it's a total loss. The motor's pretty banged up. It's probably useless. Uh, it's he's he's done. <laughs> I'll probably have a couple of nice paperweights for my desk. Maybe a little bent motor with a little bent nozzle, and uh, you know, there's a few pieces on there. But uh, I mean, you can. There's there's not much left. If it was 50-50, it'd end up this way. trying at this. We know we can do this. It's just a matter of having the circumstances work out right for us. And we've still got things that we need to improve. I mean, one of the half dozen things that we knew going in that we wanted to improve if we had more time was biting us at the very end there. We knew we had a slow opening valve on the start. I was like, oh no, don't do this to us now. But it just barely caught it on the second time know what we need to do to wind up addressing all this and it doesn't appear to be a problem with pixel so we don't expect to see that problem on tomorrow's flights so uh, we are ready to go the everything's working great we have a pretty damn good shot at taking the big one tomorrow